Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here, welcoming you to the road to my 145th Platinum Trophy. So first off, you're probably wondering why this is being recorded on a, uh, excuse me, on a freaking camera. So yeah, throwback, like crazy. Okay, the reasoning for that is because I was having issues today getting the capture card hooked up to the PS3. It's really weird the way you have to do it, like the settings and stuff you have to go through. It's a lot more complicated than the other... Uh, than like the uh, PS4, the Xbox One, or the Xbox 360. It's a lot more complicated and a lot more annoying to set up. So since I was having problems with it, I just decided to say, hey, screw it, we'll just record it on here for once. So yeah, the quality of the video is probably gonna be awful. So I do apologize for that, but there was the Master of Unwritten Tales. So yes, again, I really apologize for that. It's not what I wanted to have happen just the way things are sometimes, so I'll catch you guys in just a second once the trophy list is synced up. Alright guys, we're now back for the actual looking at the trophy list. So, the Book of Unwritten Tales 2, this is the PS3 version of it, like I said. I platinum PS4 version maybe a month or two ago. Uh, this is a pretty easy platinum trophy overall. It is. It does have a few annoying trophies. But as long as you follow a guide, it's actually pretty easy. The only major issue is that it's about twice the length of an average Telltale game, which is annoying because it takes like 15 to 20 hours. But when we look at the actual trophies, the two-thirds of the trophies, I believe, come from just uh, completing the game, which, again, if you follow a guide, is going to be very easy. And then some of them are missable, like this one, but the only ones that are actually... There's only three or four that are actually tougher to get even with a guide. This is one of them because the minigame's controls are awful and everything. And because the game only has a single save slot and it's all taken by autosave, you can't choose, like, it'll autosave no matter what, even though there is a manual save button, so it's really annoying that way. But this is one of the few tough ones. Uh, let's see if I can find the other one. But like I said, most of these are either story-related or if they aren't story related, they're fairly easy miscellaneous trophies. This is probably the hardest one overall because it's purely luck based as to whether or not you can beat this guy at poker. It's completely luck based and really stupid. So just as a warning, that one's kind of annoying. And then where's the last one that's really tough if I can find it? This one, obtaining the Igor outfit, it's just because the area that you have to obtain it in is so dark that even if you turn up the brightness, you won't be able to see anything. You have to rely on audio, and sometimes the audio doesn't even work right. And then, of course, there's these last two trophies for uh, beating the game. Yeah, that's the one for beating the game. And then this one, watch the entire end credit sequence. So I think, uh, I think you guys actually missed that, though, because I started it during that final cutscene, which was after this trophy pop. So sorry about that, but... Overall, it's a pretty easy overall game. It's a little tricky with a couple of those trophies, but not really bad at all, as long as you follow a guide. Level 35, 76%, 7,872 total trophies, 145 platinum, 735 golds, 1,902 silvers, 5,090 bronzes. This will track as my 200th completed game on PSN Profiles, which is awesome. So now that I blew through this game, in really fast time, now my next Platinum will most likely be Back to the Future on PS4. So, see you guys then.